<laughs> look at that boy. I can't be asked with that. Oh, I'm about to come home. Oh, look at his lambs. <laughs> be a sad and lonely week because mom and dad are gone Watch the wire. and then everyone else that I am with or my friends are <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. dead <laughs> no Jake's working nights so I'm all alone and then yeah etc I've just basically got no one home alone all week no lifts I'm mean, gonna get a taxi everywhere Joe so Baxi. Joe Baxi so I am using today to, I can't tell you what it's for actually, but let's just say I'm drawing today. So, I'm just gonna spend as much time as this with this bell end as I can. Thank you. So they have to go to work. Yay, new episode to catch up on. And a reason to avoid work. Another shit episode done and dusted. They just get worse and worse every week. Might as well just watch porn. God, what a Sunday day. I didn't even, I got a little bit of work done, but not much, but it's all right, because I've got all day tomorrow to finish that. Now I'm just gonna try and wash out this pink, because I decided I just want my hair all white and my hair appointments tomorrow. So just all white, then I might do a um, pink streak like I did with the blue. I just prefer white framing on my face, you know? Just, I just, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't mind the baby pink, but blonde's my favourite. For goodness sake, I've got my little flex on. Somebody upstairs is supposed to give me a lift back to Jake's. Because Jake's mum's going to give me a lift to the address in the morning. And then somebody's falling asleep and is not answering. Then I try to book an Uber. No Uber's available. Then try to book a taxi. The nearest taxi is 20 minutes away and not bookable. Life without a car is hell. These people don't know how much they inconvenience me. They literally don't. Why? It's scary out here. Poor Jake's mum's got out of bed to come and give me a lift. Hey, not having a car. It's half eleven on a school night, my lad. This is as much as I could get it out. Do you know what? They say pink washes out fast. Hair's done. My god, I look so ill when I don't have any tan on and I have freshly done hair, Jesus. Couldn't quite get out the pink, but I mean, it's that pale, it looks like it's full. It's not like I've got like a blocky root line. It kind of all fades into one another, so I think it's fine. I've got no choice anyway, so fuck it. So I need to continue doing what I was doing yesterday. And then once that's out of the way, well, t once tomorrow's out of the way, that should be done and dusted. I don't know why, I feel really, I just feel really fucking depressed today. I don't know, there's a lot going on. Especially with the whole car situation and... Oh, God. No one's here, I'm all alone. I do not like being on my own. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Right, just get the work done. Stop complaining. Right, I'm gonna try and make myself feel better. Let's improve the workspace. It is plant rewatering and flower resorting day. Because these roses, oh my god, they stink. It's funny, it's quite ironic actually how flowers are, well, they do smell nice, but they also stink. So I'm gonna sort all these out and make them look beautiful again. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I've just been on the phone to Mr. Fiat Man just to see if there's any, yeah, now Fiat's that I could get that were maybe a step up. I don't want a step down. And I was, I also needed the price of my old one. And he was basically telling me that they don't even sell mine anymore. So if I wanted to get mine again, I can't because it was a limited edition one and because it was a launch edition one. It had all of the beautiful features. It had all the best features. It's not even available to buy anymore. Basically, every day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be negative, but every single day, there's a new little kick in the teeth. Even if it's just a little bit one. Even if it's just a little tiny one. There's always one. Maybe I'm just too negative. 
I feel really bad. I see awful stuff on the news and I'm like, God, I really shouldn't be complaining about a car, but I'm so sentimental about my items. Like, even this water bottle, I just feel like if I lost it, I would be genuinely upset. Not because of the water bottle, but because it's mine and we've had like a bond together. Do you know what I mean? Remember when this bitch in nursery took my socks off? I still remember them now, they're purple with flowers on them. And then my mum, I'll never forgive her for this. She didn't even say anything. She knew they were my like, like Claire, you knew they were my socks. She didn't do shit. And then she just weren't what, what socks did I go home in? Is my question to you. This girl just wormed her way off home with my socks on. Never. She must have thought it would have been too awkward, my mum, tell you what, that ever happened to my kid. The other child getting his feet ripped off. Ripped from the socket. Now, with my old bed, I used to always tuck it in like a big sucky, tucky thingy oh, in. So but I keep putting it over the side, so I'm gonna. We're gonna test it. What do we think? It's kind of cute. Yeah, I think I quite like it. You know what my next dilemma is? So, my beloved, beloved, beloved Supreme Pillows come tomorrow. But obviously I always have on my bed my three bears, so I've got Big Bear, sleep with Big Bear every night. I kind of like, it's like a spooning situation, he's, he's my pillow, basically. I just love him. And then Darcy's obviously my baby from when I was a baby. So then like, I don't want to get rid of him off my bed, sorry bro. And then we've got Jacob, who Jacob bought for me. And I just feel, I feel sorry for him. I feel like he, do, he doesn't speak Jacob, so I worry about him. And I just, I feel like, yes, it'd look really cool if I just had the sea green pillows and the flower cushion, but I don't, what am I going to do with them? I don't mean it. I feel like, um, what film is it? Shut up, friends. You know, on Love Actually, when she finally gets that boy back into her room, and she runs upstairs, tidies up, and then she gives a teddy bear a kiss and puts it under the bed or something. I feel like that. I feel mean. I don't know where would I put them? But I just feel like, I don't know. I obviously can't keep them there forever. Like when I move out with Jake. So what do I do? Has anyone got any advice? Has anyone been in a similar traumatic situation to this? I don't know what to do. So much better, so much better. Fact, beautiful. I actually can't function when it's not tidy, you know. It really, it really damages my thinking. And then here is the hell. Here is the hell. Jobs I need to do and clothes that have no home. And then that stuff I need to send back. Who likes my new book? It's cute. I don't really know if it belongs there. I kind of wanted it to be there, but I don't think it's going to work because I always do my makeup there. And then tonight, I need to finish my drawing there. I'm going to get comfortable, put my tan on so that's ready, and then do my draw. God, this is an ugly corner. Don't look at this corner. I plan to do something with that chair, but I don't know anymore what I'm going to do with it. Also, I always, always want flowers next to my bed now. Oh. I got these today. Limes. Lemons, oranges, because I'm doing a job for Soap and Glory, right? And you know, they've always got, they've always got the really nice, like, zingy, uh, zesty scrubs and stuff. So they asked for a concept, concept, is that the right word? Something like that. For the video, you know, an idea of what I'm going to do. Um, I don't think that's the right word. Just an idea of what I'm going to do. And I just thought it'd be cool to do an ASMR video and then use these as like props and then like squeeze them all over my skin. Uh, and yeah. And then hopefully I can, I want to make some juice. I love like fresh lemon juice, but with no bits. I would sieve it to fuck. But like maybe like lime juice, lemon juice, orange juice. I'm going to try it, but I think you need a proper juice for them going to do my tan now so that's out of the way because for me there's nothing worse than being absolutely knackered and then knowing you've still got to do your tan oh it's so depressing so yeah i'm gonna do that and then i can just draw all night 
I'm going to use a new tan today, so I'll let you know how it goes. This looks like it's going to be delish, but I don't know. Is it a gimmick? I don't know. Medium? Medium? Ugh. And then a lovely new mitt, and then this one's new as well. I need to bin all my mitts. Oh, my God. They're, like, not even velvet anymore. They're, like, bin bag. Oh, my God. Look at it. Oh, it's so squishy. That's so cute. I like that. This is this product's probably for idiots like me that will just find this entertaining and gimmicky. Oh, it's so good. I swear I almost kill myself all the time in this room. It's I thought I'd be done by two and it's half three. I feel like I could just pass away. Oh my god, my back. My whole body's like just giving up. Oh. Right, it's finally bedtime. I don't even know what time my train is tomorrow. Yeah. So tired. <sighs> okay, I'm ready to go back to fucking London. I'm still not gonna tell you what for. It's just a fucking secret. I'm so fucking cool with my fucking secrets, man. I need this taxi right now. I'm gonna miss the train. I like m and with this app. I actually can't even begin to tell you how bad this morning's been. I can't, I just can't. I keep wanting to not bring up the car thing and then it just, I keep saying, right, forget about it now, forget about it, we're moving on and then some happens. I booked my taxi well in advance to get to the train station, right? Maybe like 25 minutes, maybe 30 minutes before. I was like, I wanted to get it and he was like, yeah, yeah, fine. About like 15 minutes late, it's still not there. And then it finally gets there. And we're bombing it bombing it to the train station right and i thought this taxi was gonna be about eight pound i don't i don't do change and they didn't have um i don't do physical money and they didn't have one with a car machine available so i was using my last bloody coins that i've got by chance i thought it was gonna be about eight pounds to get to the train station he said price prices have gone up it was 14 pound should never be 14 pounds to get to that train station so I was literally counting up my last bits of change. I literally just had enough, just had enough. I'd like five feet left yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. And then just get to the train station, the train's there, run up to it, press the button, and it goes, it goes, it drives off. So I'm sat there, the next train's in an hour. So I think I can't wait an hour, so I'll book an Uber. I'll have to go to the tram stop, book an Uber. And I just hear this really loud bang. I think, oh, it must be a van. Turn around, a van had hit this old man. Oh, so I just run out on the phone. No, no, no. I'm quite proud of myself, actually. Quick reactions there. Well done, Jenna. Um, no, no, no. Blah, blah, blah. So then nearly missed my Uber because I was on the phone to the bloody ambulance. But the important thing is the man was okay. Oh, God. What the fuck? And then I get in the Uber. And then we're nearly there. Which, by the way, the tram stop is way back past my house. So basically, I spent £14 on a train for nothing. Could have just gone straight to the tram stop. And then the Uber takes me to the wrong place. Like, not really wrong, like, maybe like five minutes out. Because something had happened on the app and the wrong thing had been... Not I hadn't put the wrong thing, but it taken him to the wrong place. I swear to fucking God. And then I got on the tram. It smelled like B.O. as always, but I'm here. I'm on the train. There was a train at Court uh, 55, which was like five minutes after I got here. And then there's one at quarter past the thought, fuck it, I'm going to the co-op, I'm not eating, I'm going to get my favourite meal deal, I'm going to get a Starbucks, because I'm piss wet through and I'm cold from walking in the rain. I'm going to chill for 15 and then I'm going to be on the train. Just hell, just hell. I'm really worried as well, because I've been wearing my Supreme, my favourite outfit, and I feel like I'm going to fall and rip it or something, something bad's going to happen. Yeah, I'm on the train. I've got the table, table window, backwards seat. I like facing backwards. It's hypnotising. Some people makes makes them feel sick, doesn't it? So I've got my table. I've got my mail deal. I've got my Starbucks. I'm gonna chill. I've got my switch as well. So I might just instead of doing work, play my switch because I think I deserve it. I love Camden, I just love, 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 love Camden. So much interesting things, so much life, so many weirdos. I love it.
two hours later. All done now. All done with what I had to do in London. So, I mean, it seems a bit of a waste to just go home after one hour in London after like the amount of time it takes to get here. But I don't think I have anything else to do. I think I'm tired as well. I want to get back to my doggy. I think I'll just go home. I don't always have to rinse it. I would have got a piercing, but I don't know. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? I don't know. I'm sure I'll be back in the next couple of days anyway. Oh, fuck. I was just going to go home. I thought I was being well fucking jammy. There was a train 10 minutes after I got here. But I've not got the right ticket, so I've got to wait two hours. Fuck. There he is. 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 The little man, little man, little man with the floppy, floppy ears. Hello. Somebody wants to go out, don't they? Look at that little curly whirly. We're going, we're going in a minute. We're going in a minute. Oh, look, we're going in a minute. We're going in a minute. Fuck yeah, what a day. All that just for an hour in London. That was a long day. Uh, it's like. What time is it now? 20 past 10, I've just got in. Luckily, Jake's mum's been an absolute angel and picked me up. Otherwise, I'm just spending my life's bloody allowance. I thought I saw someone then. Life's money on, um, I'm home alone, by the way. Scary as hell. Bad from my baby boy! Just spending my fucking life's money on taxis, so she saved my life there. Cause, uh. Anyway, got to take the baby out now, isn't that right? And then we're going to have a shower and we're going to get in bed because we're tired, aren't we? Carter? Carter? Just show me his bum. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm a bit scared to go out now though. So after that kind of thing, I just look at everything differently. I always think someone's gonna kill me. Well, I always thought they were gonna kill me anyway, but I'm just a bit scared now. I'm scared of going out. Hmm. I have a negative look on people now. Every time I see someone, I'm just like, are you gonna do something bad? You are, aren't you? I know I'm coming, baby. Who's a little man? Who's a little man? Finally. Finally. Look at him. Look at that boy. He's so cute. Night, night. God's sake, I was worried sick looking everywhere for Carter around the house. I couldn't see him. He not, he's not in his bed here. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. God, I wish you like Draco. Right, oh my God, I'm so orange. I need to scrub my face. I need have a lot to do today. It's Jake's last day of night of nights, so I've got the full day undisturbed to do it. And it's not even like I can drive out anywhere, so I'm literally focused work. I need to finish Princess Polly, I need to do a post for them, I need to do a feeler post. I want to do my soap and glory video and my 17 video. Um I think we should leave it there. I don't know, I'll see how much I can get done. And I need to walk this baby now. Oh, we're on his walk, but I'm worried. He's walking so slow, he's got a slight limp today, and I don't know why. It's awful seeing your dog slow down, isn't it? Like, usually it'd be like miles in front. Tata, what are you doing, babe? Still does random shit like this, though. Oh my God, what are you doing? You're not rubbing yourself in poo, are you? Right, it's literally like five o'clock. I'm a failure, but this is job number one. Feeler, the new Feeler ASOS collection, which is actually quite cute. I wouldn't, I don't know if it's something I'd wear. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, it's kind of cute now I've got it on. When I saw it in the box, I was like, hmm. But it's pretty jazzy. Yeah. So just one coast. All done, that was nice and quick and easy. Let's do something else. You know when you don't feel that bad about yourself and then you put on a certain outfit and you just hate yourself and you feel awful. I know that's not very 2020. Are we in 2021 or two? Two, aren't we? I know that's not very 2022, but I'm still that girl. Fuck it, everyone is. Everyone's just pretending. Bleh. Yeah, that was that outfit just then. I mean, it was really nice. You know, lovely outfit, but the pouch. 
I've just been eating shit. So annoying because obviously I had the chance to go to the gym and now I actually really, really want to go. I can't, typical. I could always just work out in my room though, that's what you'd say. I can't be asked with that. Guess what's just come? Guess what's just come? Oh, your dad just drained it, aren't <laughs> Now, they're a bit darker than I thought they'd be. I thought they'd be a more bright red. Maybe when I get the plastic off, I don't know. But, um, I don't know. Pretty sick. Pretty sick, though. Yeah, I just wish they were a bit brighter. Maybe they will be. Maybe they will be. Maybe, I'm hoping that's like a... <laughs> Do you get a shadow through clear plastic? I don't know. I'm just glad they're here. Oh, God. Amazing. They're a bit bigger than I thought they'd be. I'm just... What the fuck is that, though? I'm just buzzing. You're not ready. You're not ready. I'm not even ready. No one's ready. No one's ready. Ignore the mess. And yes, I'm stood on a stool. <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh, amazing. This is such a good backdrop for videos now. I love it. I never want to move out now. Fuck. Oh, I'm never going to get a room this big when I move out, am I? I'm going to be in like a pee when I move out. Oh, no. Oh, I love it. Here is the vision board. And here is the vision! Yes, 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 yes. We're just going on another walk before it gets dark so we don't die. Very sensible. To be fair, it is. It's nearly dark and I'm scared. Some people would freak out with the dog next to the fucking same red pillows, but I just know that. Oh, you wouldn't do it. You've never chewed anything. You've never chewed anything, have you? No, you've never chewed anything. You don't, you don't even chew his toys. <laughs> You're softy. Nice. This just screams mum and dad are on holiday and there's no shopping left. I've made for my tea. Um, oh, it's kind of nice-ish. I made pesto pasta, but the only pasta we had left was macaroni, so. Macaroni pesto pasta. I think it looks quite nice, you know. I think it'd be nice. I'm the only one in the house and I can hear sounds and my heart is literally I don't know how on scary movies they actually go and check. I couldn't even check. I couldn't even fucking check. I just had to build up the confidence then for about two minutes straight. I was like, just, I was staring. I paused the TV, I was like. I can still hear it now. I don't understand. The washing machine's right under my room. Put the washing machine on, which I know it does make sound, but I'm sure it doesn't make that much sound. And then the dishwasher's on as well, but surely it doesn't make that much sound. It sounds like the sound of someone walking through the house, not footsteps, but that you know the house creaking. Oh, it's just sending me under, it's sending me under, it's sending me under. I can't wait for Jake to be finished on nights tomorrow so I can just go and stay with him because I I don't like it at all. Uh, I'll probably never say this, but I want mom and dad to come home. One vlog out of the way. Now I just need to edit a whole other week. Uh, just put on some fresh bedding because somebody got their mucky paws on it yesterday. No, no, no. Get those little feet off my bed. Get them off. <laughs> Who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? Breakfast at two o'clock as usual. Special K today because there's nothing left in the house, apparently. Oh, I've got to bath the baby now. He hates it. He absolutely hates it, but he stinks. And he's staying at Auntie, uh, Uncle Jake's tonight, so. Yeah, be so upset. Oh, you're dealing with it. Really gross. Good boy. Bear with me, little man, bear with me. Oh, it's not my fault you're small and smelly. It's not my fault you're small and smelly. Actually, see, it's actually quite nice when you get in there, isn't it? It's not bad. Oh, those are my pants. This tiny baby is getting clean. Such a, like, such a stressful last hour. I've been editing vlogs, catching up on like four weeks of vlogs all night and all morning. And then I just need to do this 
last feeler video. This is actually a really nice outfit though. Like, even though it's green, I'd wear it. It's nice. It's really nice. I think it's quite flattering as well. It's not too, even though it sticks to you, it's not too offensive. And then the flares aren't too long. Actually, I would wear this out, you know. Funky, I really like it. Even with the shirt. It's cute. Finally off nights. We're just going on another IKEA trip because we are idiots. I actually wore these pants because you know what? I actually quite like them. I, I prefer them to the orange and thingy ones. Yeah. Are they cool? I, come, I like the fit as well and the really cool fit. I got my vase. We literally walked right past it last time. It's beautiful. It's everything I ever wanted. It's the one that I always steal from Jake's mum. It's the exact same. I don't think hers is from Ikea though. I imagine hers is from Next or something a bit nicer. Shit. Yeah. Love it. How beautiful and big is that? Love that. 19 pounds. And Jake got some crap as well for his room. <laughs> Jake got a really nice piece of wood to put on his um, pedals for his, his guitar that he plays once a month. Yeah, baby. Jake's pulling it out so it looks terrible. We've got moons, one mango, one coconut. Everybody's comfy. We've got stars on. Netflix is ready. Is everybody happy? Is everybody happy? No. Why not? You have a bit of gun to my head. <laughs> that spot on your head's massive now. Sick. <laughs> Oh my god, he's got a laser on his mouth. It's on his nose. Oh, what if it goes in his eyes? Jake, it's going in his eyes and he's not doing anything. This little rascal got me up at 7 a.m. and then decided to sleep until half 11 anyway. Who dick you? Obviously, going for a walk without Jake because he's a lazy bitch, isn't that right? You know, right? Bless you. Time has come where I have to look at cars, right? I'm just thinking, look, do I want another Fiat 500? Well, it's the only cute girly car out there. I mean, there's a Beetle. Well, that's gone us. Anyway, I saw oh, Jeep Wrangler's beautiful, isn't it? Like a three door of them. So I thought, I'll ring up. You know, you never know. You never know. £900 a month. That's mad. That's crazy money. Oh, yeah, no. Guess we're getting a Fiat. Look how desperate he is to get to that water. He's really like falling off. He don't. He don't hate his water. He don't want to get his feet in it. Look at that booty stretch. I'll have to get you in the strip club. He was so thirsty. He actually went down the stairs and got in the water. Good boy. Well done. It wasn't that bad, was it? Wasn't that bad? Oh, you mucky pup. Interesting, like, well, pretty much all week, really. Well, not that you've known of. But I'm going to the car garage today. I'm going to Fiat to have a look. <laughs> I'm going on my own because no one my dad, so. Oh, that's scary adult jobs. And then I'm hoping to maybe go to Mini afterwards because I am kind of warm into a Mini. I just feel a bit guilty getting three Fiat's. Just like I thought I would have moved on after my second one. No, I don't love them. I fucking love them. I think they're so cute. It's such a lovely car, but I just feel like, oh, there's one there and there's one there. They just, they love me. They love me. Yeah, I just feel like, oh, that one's so nice as well. It's a convertible and it's got brown leather seats. Like, oh, brown leather seats. It looks really vintage. It looks beautiful. Anyway, yes. Just gotta walk the baby first. That's her. I'm not sure if I look sensible to go and look at cars. <laughs> I feel like I look like a tramp, but well, I didn't want to look too friendly in the Care Bears jumper. I want to look serious, but I feel like I look like I sell drugs. These are all we've got in the hybrid. The most boring colours ever. This is cute. It's cute. Hey, hey, hey. We're on another walk, aren't we, gorgeous? Oh, I thought car shopping would be fun, but car shopping always sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It sounds like you're going to buy multiple cars. Looking for a car, thought would be fun. Um, but, no! 
<laughs> so I expected really so I went in uh, I'm gonna try and make this as brief as possible but you know what I'm like so I definitely wanted something on par with what I had I don't want anything worse because that is just a step down you don't want to step down so they had um I mean it wasn't a special edition one like mine was but they had the uh oh look at these lambs oh just tiny babies hello hi <coughs> I just look like a lunatic now. Yeah, they had um, the hybrids, Dolce Vita, Fiat 500 hybrids. He was like, we've got some XM ones. I was like, great, 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 great. Um, and then he's like, we've got about eight in this week, actually. So brilliant. So you could come and you could pick from one of them. You could have it straight away. I'm thinking brilliant. <sighs> Go in and it's just the most boring colours. Um, Grey, black, white, red. Sorry, no. I'm not getting one of them. I just for me, a Fiat 500 is it's they have the such they have such unique, cute colours. They're cute, they're fun. They have the matching interior. They're just fucking cute, aren't they? Some of them. Oh, I've seen a yellow one once, and it has a yellow gear stick. Oh, it's just so cute. So no, I will not be getting a black, white, grey Fiat. Fuck that. Like, sorry if you have one, but for me, no, they're just not for me. I'd rather just get another car. So then I went, uh, no, no. Then I moved on. So there's the electric Fiat. It's like £450 a month. So that would be paying what you could pay for, like, say, like a, a nice BMW. A nice BMW. A Fiat 500 just because it's electric. Oh, my God. And there's three different types of them. There's, like, the least expensive ones, the middle expensive, and then the main expensive ones. And the other, the, like, lowest ones are the boring colours. And one of them's not even got a radio, I just think. So he's paying 30k for a car, you want a fucking radio on a screen, it's ridiculous. So then, the only two colours I like in the electric, one is near the colour that I had, so it's basically like, it's going to be pretty similar to my old car, so I mean, is it even a new car? Is it that interesting, getting a car that looks kind of the same to your one? And then the one after that is the rose gold one, which... Everyone keeps sending me actually, oh, you should get this rose gold for But I don't like it. If it was a pale pink, yeah, but the fact that it's rose gold, I just think mm, it's, it's not that nice. So then I went to Mini. I was like, hello, Mr. Man. I'd like a Mini. <laughs> and so, now don't, don't quiz me on this because I can't fully remember, but basically it's more expensive to buy an old one I don't know, a used one, I don't know why. But obviously I want a new one, but if I want a new one, I've got to wait. I'm looking at waiting until the end of the year. What the fuck is that? So I would have no car until the end of the year if I wanted to wait for a new Mini. I like getting a new car. I just feel like, one, it's new. You're the first owner. You don't have to get it a frigging MOT for however long. You've done these servicing, it's all good. It's all good to go. No parts are on the verge of breakdown. It's fine, you know. And then you just fucking swap it. You get a new one, you have it a couple of years, sit a bit, swap it for a new one. You have minimal problems. Yeah, so I'd like a new one. But then there's this, there's the grey one that I showed you, which is used and I really like it. And it's a convertible. Um, but it's just quite expensive for a used car. I, just, I could have got, I could get a new one for that. So yeah, I'm just in a bit of a predicament. But I'd say that that Mini is the best one that I've seen. Oh, and he did say with the hybrids, he was like, we have got other colours. Um, so I had a look online. They do it in a beautiful orange. And I was like, that's amazing. Like that one. I actually do like that one. All right, it wasn't amazing. Jesus. Speaking like someone off Balamori, I was like, yeah, that's really nice. I do like the orange one. He's like, all right, we could get it to you in about four months. I just think, fucking hell, it's not that good. I'm not waiting four months for it. Oh, so it's like, do I wait? Uh, until the end of the year to get a car and then having this nice new one or do I get this used one that's a bit expensive for what it is what do I do what do I do I don't know I must say though with Fiat and their colour range they've gone downhill what the hell's happening you know we used to have there was the baby poo one that was like the only car I've ever seen in baby poo, poo colour you know that beautiful beige one that was gorgeous there was a lilac one there was a mint green one they had like a nice 
yellow one. What else? They've done so they had like a really pale, not tacky, pale pearlescent pink. That was beautiful. I've never seen a car like that. Well, a colour like that. Like where's the fucking colour range gone? You know, black, grey, white. What? <sighs> Me and Jake are going to be on some sort of programme soon. Maybe like obese here to save my life. Something like that. Truly? But I did to wear. Chat? I mean, Jake! <laughs> oh! It's a basketball there. <laughs> Aero bubbles then. Mint aero bubble then. Hey! Once again, I forgot to end the vlog because we're just a bell end. Um, but yeah, I I think I really want that mini. I think I really want it. Even though it's not new and I love a newbie, I think I want it. So hopefully next week will be a beautiful week and maybe I'll have a car. Maybe it won't be that quick, but hope everyone's had a really nice week and I will see you next week.